Are you tired of severe pain from an L5 S1 herniated disc? Are you looking for a fast, safe, easy way to get some relief at home? In this video, you will learn a simple, effective way to apply kinesio tape to your low back that can be effective in reducing pain, inflammation, and swelling from an L5 S1 herniated disc. And the best part is you don't need any doctor or therapist. You can apply this with some simple help at home. By the end, not only will you learn a simple, effective, fast, easy way to tape to give support and pain relief for an L5-S1 herniated disc, but you will also learn a simple, effective taping strategy for another very common problem in the lower back. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Dupuy, a corrective care chiropractor in Sanford, Maine. I created this channel to provide information on improving your posture and spinal health so you can feel better, move better, perform better, and overall have improved health. Before I dive in, take a moment to subscribe to this channel so that you will get more information on how to improve your spinal health and posture so you can feel better, move better, perform better, and have overall improved health. For many people, having an L4, L5, or L5, S1 herniated disc means living with constant pain, severe muscle spasms, cramping, numbness, tangling, even weakness, Many of these symptoms can interfere greatly with what's known as ADLs, activities of daily living. This is why uh, if we can provide some simple relief at home, it can really take a lot of the stress off of the strains of having such an injury like an L4, L5, or L5, S1 herniated disc. You'll see in my hands, Rock Tape. This is one form or brand of Kinesio Tape. It's a tape that we like to use because the glue that they use with Rock Tape seems to hold up best it's hypoallergenic, so very rarely do people have skin irritation, and it holds up under conditions, even as conditions like swimming or even frequent shower use because it is designed for athletic competition. Now, if you're skeptical about kinesio tape and how something so simple can be so effective, it's probably because you don't know how it works and probably someone or no one has yet explained to you how it does work. So even though it's a simple looking tape, the way that we apply it in parallel to the muscles that we are targeting actually affects the nervous system. We can apply this tape in such a way where if there's hypertonic or spasm muscles, we can apply it with a method that will actually think of it like this. It's telling the brain, hey, we're getting support to these injured tissues. So the brain doesn't have to work so hard to provide a splint by itself by turning on the muscles or making the muscles excessively tight or taut. So we know that the technical term is we can provide some neurological re-education to the muscles that we apply it to, and then that can allow those muscles to relax so that there's not such a constant pull on those tissues. And also, there are certain ways we can apply that tape that can gently lift the surface of the skin up slightly that allows the lymphatic vessels to open up. Lymphatic vessels are very similar to veins that are that transport blood back to the heart, but the lymphatic vessels, those are the vessels throughout the body that most people aren't aware of. But when those vessels are able to be opened, that's where your body reabsorbs most of the inflammation or the fluid that comes from excessive inflammation. So not only can we apply the tape in such a way for chronic disc herniations to relax hypertonic or tight muscles, but we can also apply it in a way to lift the skin to help reduce some of the swelling and inflammation. That combination of reduced muscle tension and decreased inflammation can really provide a lot of targeted relief for the patient with L4, L5, or L5, S1 disc herniations. Okay, now that you know just a few uses of kinesio tape, come on over, we're gonna actually apply a few strips of kinesio tape to a simulated patient that has pain from an L4, L5, or L5, S1 herniated disc. All right, we're back into our pit of repair known as the corrective chiropractic care rehab room. This is our super CA, Kayla. She is simulating someone that has pain right where you see X marks the spot. That is the approximate location of the L5 S1 disc. So what I've done is I've cut two strips of tape about the length of her lumbar spine. And then what we're gonna do is have the patient lean on their forearms to pre-stretch the tissue. So kinesio tape, comes pre-stretched to the back of the backing. So what we wanna do is break free the pre-stretch. And I wanna have about a half inch to serve as an 
anchor. So you can see that because I don't want any stretch to be applied at the start or the end of the tape. So I'm going to feel the iliac crest, the bone on the hip. I'm going to drop down just below the L5-S1 disc location. I'm going to put some pressure back and forth. Most of the glue is heat activated, so you want to apply some friction to allow that glue to stick. And then we apply what's called paper off tension. As I raise the paper, I'm going to, as I raise the tape, I'm going to lift the paper off. So we're applying the tape. And then I stop with about a half inch left. And then I just gently put that down. And then I apply some friction, some heat, so that glue attaches to the skin. I do the same thing on the other side. Here's the spine right in the middle. You go on either side of the spine, just below the dislocation. Apply some pressure there. Taper off tension. And then the top goes down without any stretch. Now she stays there for one more minute and then where the pain is the most severe, I break this last long piece right in the middle and I give myself an anchor of about an inch on either side. And this time I go nearly maximal stretch right over the area of most pain. And then I lay down those anchors without any stretch and then nice and slowly we have the patient sit up. And what you may notice is this wrinkling. These are called convolutions. And when the tape does that, we are actually starting to lift just the surface of the skin up. That can help those lymphatic vessels, channels open, and that can play a big role in reducing inflammation and swelling from the low back. Now, what you just saw is one of the most common ways to tape for L4, L5, or L5-S1 disc herniations, especially when there's muscle spasm, when there's muscle stiffness, along with pain and swelling. What I'm gonna show you next is a bonus video, how to apply one targeted area of tape right over the disc for the most acute discs. If we apply this first method and we're not getting enough relief, sometimes we spend a few days with just the targeted tape right over the hot disc, and oftentimes that can provide the re relief necessary to then proceed with further healing. So this is the second method for applying uh, tape to an acute disc that's extremely painful, swollen. This time we're going to cut about four even length strips. And again, I've put an X marks the spot. We can do a little lean forward on those forearms to take the pressure off the back. And all of these we're going to apply like the last strip in the previous video. So I'm going to tear right down the middle, give myself about three quarters or so of an inch of the uh, anchor. And then all of these I'm gonna apply at maximum stretch, the center of the tape being right at the location of the disc that's injured. So we're gonna go maximal stretch. We're gonna put that piece of tape down. I'm gonna put those anchors down. Rub that tape to activate the glue. And we're just going to continue this process Now we're, we're almost creating like a supportive patch right over that area of aggravated tissue. All right, now that you know how to apply kinesio tape, two different methods for an L4, L5, or L5, S1 disc herniation, now you can take action on your own at home safely, effectively to provide some relief. If you like this video, please take some time to subscribe to our channel. Uh, click on the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you have any other topics you would like us to cover, uh, make a comment below and we'll do our best to address those, those comments or topics in future videos.
The next video you should watch on our channel is three safe and effective exercises for L5-S1 disc herniations. And you can find that video right up here over my shoulder. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.